All right, now I'd like to show you a little bit of DMX editing. So what we're going to do is add a dimmer pack. So we'll add a four output dimmer pack. So you can now see that below. We've got a dimmer pack and we've got the four outputs there. So you edit these just like you do with the on off animation cells on the boo box. You can just click and drag. And remember that these are basically analog curves. So you're creating, oops, you're, you can basically dim your lights. It's not just off and on. So what we've done here is this light will go up to about half and then back up to almost full and then and then ramp down. Now that's output one on the dimmer pack. If you hover over here you can see the dimmer pack will be DMX address six. So if we just watch our dimmer pack here, I'll hit play. You can see the first output do exactly that. If you want, you can just reach in and edit it again. And we'll play it back again. And it's that simple to dim lights or add any kind of stage lighting control to your scene. A couple other options we have when you're editing DMX. You can do a transition. So say I want to fade from zero to full brightness in three seconds. So I'll select the beginning of this selection has is off and the end of the selection is full. So if I right click and say transition, it automatically transitions from the beginning of the selection to the end. And then we could say from that point, we want to go to 50%, oops, right click, set value to 50% would be 128 cents. The DMX works from zero to 255. So half of 255 would be 128. And that's how you do that. So we could now see output two also activate. Fades up over three seconds and then down to half and then stays halfway. All right. Okay, so let's do something real with that. So let's say, I'm gonna turn this one off. And I'm gonna go from half Output one will start at half, and then it's going to flicker. Oops. It's a bit tricky in the small window for YouTube. So get a sort of a flickering pattern here. Output two will fade on over ten seconds. Output three. We'll just select the entire row there. You can click on any row header and it'll select the entire row. And we'll set that to half. So let's have a preview, of, see what that does. So output one will flicker, output two will ramp up over the full 10 seconds and output three will just stay at a certain brightness. All right, so that's pretty cool. And we'll bring it all together. We'll go back to the ambient scene and we'll set the output one to be on at about half brightness. So then what's going to happen is the, that light will always be about half brightness. And then when we trigger the input one, then we'll see the light flicker. Let's just analyze the audio waveform here. 
We'll see the light flicker for a bit during the input one show and then return to just half on. So we'll just set this to 128. That's it. So if we were to play that, you would just see see that basically see the light on so that's what we want so we're going to export that almost there i'll unplug the director connect while we're waiting for that take out the card now we should have the ambient sound with the one light on at half and that will just keep going forever and then when we trigger it the one light that's on will start flickering one will ramp up and one will stay at a certain uh, brightness and there you go so that program we created is now stored on the SD card and the boo box will play that back whenever it's triggered